So I'm going to do a tour of the Outlaw Queen as it stands right now. Uh, we've got the front here. There's some longhorns that go in the center there and another one of those uh, yokes that goes there. Uh, as you can see, it is a gorgeous uh, painted trailer. The propane is painted like a cactus and the uh, scene is actually amazingly, if we want to turn around and look, it looks pretty much like it was made here. So, and it matches our house, which is funny. Um, and so you see there is some people hightailing to get somewhere. And uh, this was all done by a artist uh, named Meredith. And uh, these are um, eagle feathers. Uh, this, uh, that represents uh, in Native American culture, care for the elderly. And uh, it has been power washed, so there's some paint damage, but we're gonna fix that up. And there's some, you know, just little things, the lights and whatnot. The windows all crank out. There's some stuff that just needs a little bit of touching up, a little bit of, little bit of tender love and care. And uh, yeah, but the, the artwork on this is really quite great, and this is a original Shasta trailer. Uh, been part of the Tin Can Tours community, and as you can see, the door actually does open. That was a question yesterday, um, but look at this beautiful wood. It's just really wonderfully maintained. And then, and then. When we go in, there's laminate floor, the original stove, and some hangy hooky stuff. And you can see the uh, windows. This is the front windows they crank out. And everything has been, I'm just gonna try and get a, it's small. So anyway, this is where the dinette would be if this was an original. There was a bed in here. Uh, and I think we're going to change that to a chair and a desk and kind of shore up this. Uh, there's some structural stuff that needs to be worked on. But as you can see, there's like lots of cool old cowboy memorabilia. Take life by the horns and uh, spit with the wind, not against it. As you can see, there's like really cool touches in here. Um, so original, uh, stove, um, all the fixtures and stuff have been replaced with Western looking ones. And, uh, that's the original refrigerator. And, uh, these, you know, as you can see, these are like just really cool designs, um, on this, uh, the, there's a little bit of water damage. The, um, former owner left this open when it was raining. <laughs> And, uh, but overall, everything super nice looking and the crank out windows all work. There's like, you know, um, cowboy memorabilia, which we're of course leaving on and it's beautiful. And there's a little night light and there's, uh, actually there's, there's a whole functional closet here complete with an ironing board. So I'm going to figure out how to use the ironing board because that's pretty funny. And um, there is a, a reward poster, which is pretty funny as an outlaw. And uh, yeah, and so this is the bed. It is a real mattress, not a uh, one of the fake Shasta uh, mattresses. In the regular Shasta trailer is not altered. There's like a set of cabinets here that uh, I have, when we rented one to see if I really did want a Shasta trailer, I hit my head on it all the time. So I did not want that there. Thankfully, he actually, uh, Steve, the person who we did this, took the little, you can see the trim here, and he took that trim and he made a little shelf. Nice. So that there could be 
you know, shelf uh, there rather than the thing that you hit your head on. Um, and so then there's like a real bed frame here. This is obviously not original. Uh, originally, there was kind of a, I don't know, a little, I mean, honestly, quite a crappy bed here with a um, little foam mattress that was about that thick. Terrible stuff. But this is far superior uh, carpet. I don't know what state that's in or anything, but uh, we didn't find any mass droppings or whatnot. There's old cowboy pals here uh, experiencing um, life in the old west. And I truly love, 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 love this old trailer. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna um, shore some stuff up and uh, we're gonna tow it over into flat ground so that uh, we can you know, make sure it's all square and uh, then the real work begins.